Hey guys, Jagga here, and I am going to show you how to create this cute little spider web Halloween look. But before we get into that, you know the drill. If you like what you see, hit that like button. Don't forget, before you leave, please subscribe, hit the bell to become part of the hashtag notification nation so you will be alerted as soon as my videos go up also links in the description box to all my social medias my facebook page and people whom i care about does that make sense channels so make sure you check them out and yeah don't forget to subscribe and yeah let's get into this video okay Hey, so here's the photo of what I want to create. I found it on Pinterest. Um, I'll be looking over here because this is where my laptop is, where I have the picture pulled up so I can reference it. I do not know who created this look. Um, that's why I want to show you the picture. Maybe if you know, let me know so I can give them the credit that they deserve. And this is just because October is here. Let's start off with simple Halloween type look. We're gonna start off small and easy. Just a fun little Halloween like look. just to start off for fun. I personally not a fan of Halloween. I don't uh, find being scared um, fun. I don't, I don't find it fun at all. Um, but a lot of people do and it's fun to do different creative looks. But as for getting scared on Halloween and stuff, that to me, not fun. So. Okay, just put on some e.l.f. primer and I'm going to be using the Mirage palette today and I am going to start off with, good question, I'm going to start off with this brown as a transition shade. So let's transition. <laughs> so clever. Yeah, I don't ask. Don't ask. I am just something else today. This is my second video I'm filming today. I filmed my uh, video about the brushes, what brushes are good for what, and how I use brushes. And yeah, I wanted to get these videos filmed because, well, the day you're watching this, this will be Thursday, which would be mean yesterday was my son's 10th birthday. So I didn't want to film on his birthday. So I decided to film two in one day. So I didn't have to film on his birthday because yeah. It's his birthday, I don't want to take time away from him to be filming a video. Okay, so there is the transition shade. <sighs> I'm so strange. Okay, now on the lid, I'm going to actually take this flat brush. And on the lid, I'm going to go with... Oh, good question. I want to go with this coppery, orangey look right there. You know what? And I decided I'm not going to use that brush. I'm going to use my finger. And that's going to go on the lid. So pretty. That's a pretty color, guys. That's a pretty color! Ugh. <sighs> I do like that. Which 
hair is so squeaky, it's so annoying. Okay, I like that. That is pretty, pretty. Yeah, this is not at all what that is, but that's okay. We're doing our own thing here. Um, I'm gonna grab another smaller fluffy brush. And I'm going to uh, go into I'm gonna dip into this brown I hate <laughs> this uh oh brown brown orange is orangey brown more orange than brown the orangey brown color I'm going to put that on the outer corner and in the crease I like so So tell me, tell me, were you guys enjoying the wet and wild looks? If so, and you want more, just let me know. There are lots of shades in there that I could definitely come up with more. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna actually take a small brush, small fluffy brush like a Z's brush. And I'm actually gonna go into this bright orange right here. I'm just going to kind of sweep that along the edge of that orange color, brown orange color. I might need to blend this a little differently. Maybe not. Work it with this brush. It works. It's working. My eyes watering so that spot right there isn't really uh, wanting to blend very well. Go back in with the brush we just used with that brown orange color and kind of blend over it a little bit. For underneath, I'm actually gonna go with that bright orange underneath. Probably should have done my face makeup first. But hey. Sometimes I don't think things all the way through. And then when I don't think them all the way through, I have to make it work. Okay, so now I'm gonna get another brush. Here it is. All right, I'm gonna go into this dark brown, right, and I'm going to run that under that orange. Like so. Maybe a little in the corner right here, just to deepen it a little. Okay, now I really want to get a clean brush, fluffy clean brush, and I really want to blend this orange out. A little more. Maybe dip a little into a bone shade because it doesn't seem to want to be blending. There we go. <sighs> My eye is watering right here, so yeah, don't mind that. Okay, now we need some eyeliner for the 
Beautiful. Well, first I'm gonna line the eyes, and then I will do the web. Okay, change plans. Eyeliner's on. I'm gonna throw on lashes, do the rest of my makeup, and then we will get into the spider web because I need the rest of my makeup done before I go drawing on the spider web. So I'll be back with the rest of my makeup done and we will do the spider web. Okay, on to the spider web. Let's do this trying. Try with a. This is a Wet n Wild eyeliner pencil. I'm gonna try with this first and see how it works. Just kind of sketch it out lightly. Like so, I might go over it with the liquid. I haven't decided. like mature skin and it's a little looser than most people's it is skipping a little bit but I think we can deal with that See this spider web fly? Stay away from me. <laughs> yeah, if only. And I think if we sharpen that up with this, it will be mighty fun.
I'm thinking just to step it up just a little itty bitty notch. Maybe. If I can find what I'm looking for. Okay, here it is. Some silver eyeliner, glitter liner. Oh no, it might be dried out. Shake it up and see. Just to add a little something, something. I can try, but it's looking a little. Sparse. I don't know. We'll try. Now we need some bottom lash mascara and lipstick, of course. A little mascara there. I will scrape that away. All right, so I've been like dying to use this lip color. And yeah, now I think I can finally do it. Alrighty, I'm gonna go in with the color Lavender Crown by Wet n Wild, the liquid cap suit. I've been itching to use this color and I couldn't figure out when I was gonna use this color, but guess what? When is now? Here I know. Yeah, that doesn't match at all. <clears throat> Kinda matches my nail. That is an interesting color, if I do say so myself. This is like a, yeah, dusty periwinkle. What is this called again? Lavender Crown. Sure. <laughs> It's more of a dusty periwinkle, you know, but that's all right. Okay. Okay. It does kind of go with the Halloween theme with the web and such. I guess it works. Okay, so this is the final look 
That spider web was a little more challenging than I thought it was going to be, but I kind of dig it. It's kind of cool. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments what you think of this look and if it, it's something that maybe you would cre recreate. Um, maybe. Sorry, I'm trying to get that. Get that uh, mascara off. Um, but yeah, I think it's kind of nifty. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell if you want YouTube to notify you when I upload. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this fun little beginning to Halloween look. Look, look, look. Yeah, look, look. Sound like a duck not a duck a chicken anyways i get distracted <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this look and i hope you have a wonderful day